most of my life, as far as I can remember, I've had a strong fear of people choking. A fear, not necessarily a strong fear. And as I evolve, I know that I'm noticing that because part of people choking is them uh, having their throat chakra blocked. And one of the things I've noticed about people choking as mostly they'll still have food in their hand and they'll still be going to eat more even though they're choking. And I believe life's like that. When there's a lot of resistance built up because it's, it's, things aren't working, people start to push more. And there are some times you're supposed to pause. There are some times you're supposed to retrieve and go the other way. And there are times you're supposed to push through. But if you're choking, you can agree logically and emotionally that putting more food in your mouth is not the proper thing to do. Sometimes even drinking isn't the proper thing to do. So your resistance is causing more resistance. That's the ripple effect. I can remember some, one time when somebody very, very close to me was choking. And I slowly walked over to them, even though I may have been panicking to a certain level because I didn't want them to panic more. And then all I did is told them to put down the, their burger. And once that resistance slowed down there, once that resistance dissipated, then all of a sudden the process of them relieving that choking. So absence of eating and choking, where are you choking in your life? It's a process. It's not something that all of a sudden happens. It's a, it's a slow process, just like cancer shows up that they can detect it, detect it at a level, but the cancer's building up for years and years and years. And it can be, be relieved in, in a shorter period of time. Basically somebody that has, has cancer is creating cancer on a, a daily, daily basis. So where in your life are you choking? You may be good, really good financially, but you're choking with your relationships. You may be very, really good with your relationships, but you're, you're choking with your, your physical fitness and your health. Where in your life are you choking? What's the opposite of choking? Breathing, being present, being aware of what's going on to you, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what in life is being cultivated in an empowered way at a massive level. Right now, I'm in nature by my house. I wouldn't even necessarily consider this nature, but I'm sitting on grass, getting myself grounded, taking nice deep breaths in, deep breaths out tuning into how my body moves and what feels good feeling where there might be tension and how can I let go of that right here right now thank you very much for spending this time for me for me with me peace